Help you lose a better amount of wave, blah, 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 blah. Um, so as you can see today, we're going to cover the top seven stocks in the NASDAQ as usual. Uh, so it's going to be, as you can see, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, uh, Meta, or Facebook, or whatever you want, Tesla, Nvidia, and Google, or Alphabet. Um, so starting with Apple here, I uh, wanted to start uh, on the weekly with all of them. Um, so as you can see, I've been pretty bullish on Apple, so on and so forth. If you've been following the, the, these updates, uh, you know by now. And uh, uh, cough, cough, if you want to subscribe, um, I highly appreciate it. Uh, but, uh, and, and, and I hold um, a big stake of Apple. Actually, 10% of my long-term investment portfolio is in Apple. And 30% is in the S&P, which is uh, a big chunk of the seven stocks that we're going to cover today. So, I'm very bullish on Apple. I had been buying here around 180. Um, and uh, to just focus on the short term, so as you can see here, on the long term, my best guess is we are winning this way three. Uh, one plus six point eight of three against one stands at seven hundred sixty dollars. Uh, uh, and and here one two three four, and we could be seen further upside. Now, uh, I have two scenarios. Um, I'm gonna show you the conservative one. So the conservative one suggests we made this wave one and two. We also made this way three and four, five, and five goes here, and we just have a very short way five of three. That's a conservative. The alternate could be we are in wave one, two, three, four, five of one. So this would be minor one, ABC, minor two, upside within this way three of that primary way four. And the count that you're gonna see to, uh, right now, which is, um, um, I mean, if, if we take a look at the indices, this count that I just showed, um, the one where we are in a one, two, three, four, five of one, minor one of five, it's actually pretty possible uh, looking at the indices. Um, but uh, Apple has been moving um, differently from the S&P and the NASDAQ. It's been underperforming which makes me think it, we could see it uh, overperforming. I don't know. We'll find out. But on the, just go straight on the hourly. Uh, this is my best count. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now call me crazy. Uh, some of you know I'm a fan, a big fan of one twos. But when it comes to this market, this is possible. Obviously, this needs confirmation. So this week, we need to start moving higher. So we'll see. We'll find out. But that's possible. So again, a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, which actually it does look like a wave four, doesn't it? Some sort of a triangle. One, two, three, four, five for wave one, ABC. So moving like the indices and then for their upside. Or else uh, this is one, two, three, four, five of five and we're doomed. Which one is it going to be? I don't know. We'll take it one wave at a time and I will update you guys on the channel and on the Discord as well, which is absolutely free. Now, Microsoft moving as expected. So let me zoom out. Um, weekly chart, one, two. Uh, we, I mean, looking at targets, we could have much more upside. Uh, even 10,000 is doable at a wave wise, um, which will be interesting. Uh, now, as you can see here, my best count here is a one, two, three, four, five. There's also a possibility we are in a one, two, three, four, and five. This is also possible. Obviously, this will mean we are due a larger correction to take us all the way back here. Uh, but we'll see. If not, then this could be a one, two. And we, as you can see on the daily. OK, a bit messy, but to review this, this um, it's not perfect when, in, when it comes to showing the waves uh, because they overlap and then the size is not ideal, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but yeah, can't do much but complain. Uh, but that won't help. So a one, two, three, four, and again, I'm I'm kind of as a three and four, and not as a one, two, which I I think I do have it as a one, two somewhere. Yes, here a one, two. This is also possible because of the uh, what the Nasdaq and the S and P are doing. Uh, the, especially the Nasdaq, the S and P is already at all time high. The Nasdaq seems to be in way four, so which could be completed in the Nasdaq. So A, B, C, looking for downside. And at this point, we could see further upside. Ideally, uh, 380. 380 will be interesting to see. Um, 
Uh, if you look at, once again, targets, so equality of C against A, equality distance is six, uh, 362, so 365 could be an interesting place to look for support, but yeah, that's what I sped basically on Microsoft for the time being. Next one up, Amazon, okay, Let's zoom back. Why is it showing on the weekly? Okay, as you can see, pretty. Oh, I oh I own Amazon in my long-term portfolio. Um, I recently bought more on the dip here, uh, but as usual, I should have bought more than I did. Um, so one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. At this point, we could be within wave five, so looking for the target for their upsides. Now you can say many times wave fives are as long as wave ones. So intermediate five could be as long as wave one, as intermediate one, obviously, and that would be at $327 possible. Or else we could just, I mean, as you can see, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna zoom in. As you can see now, my best count says we are, we made a one, two, and we are moving higher. Um, the alternate would be, let me zoom in. Oh, next week, next weekend, guys, I will have uh, my monitor back, so it should be easier to see, clearer to see here on the recordings. Uh, apologies for that. This is also possible. A, B, C for two, upside. We'll see. Uh, but for the time being, um, I, I prefer this count, knowing both are possible. Uh, I know if the situation in the Middle East could cause something to the stock market, to be honest. Um, it de I think it depends on how much it escalates. More than it already, I mean, more than it already is. Um, so Meta is one that has been moving exactly as predicted. Uh, if you remember, we were here forecasting a triangle. We moved higher and we kept on doing it uh, as suspected. So next target would be one plus six one eight minus three against one at six hundred and seventy dollars. And yeah, looking for their for their upside. Uh, the next uh, big level to watch, so the next big number to, to look out for is 650. Why? Why you may ask? Well, 650, 6.5, 65, whatever, is between 5 and 8. And 5 and 8 are Fibonacci numbers. Um, so, yeah, not much to add on Meta. Tesla, some of you, I know many of you follow it. So, here's the update. Zoom out. That's my best guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the question <laughs> with capital T is, I mean, capital Q and T is, is wave four in place? It could be if we zoom in, if we zoom in, obviously, like to review. Okay, if we zoom in, you can see A, B, C, D, and E. And then, yes, I'm recording. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five. And we could be, we could have completed this wave one. If not, then we could still be in wave E. So we made A, B, C, boom, of E. If you're not aware, every subwave of a triangle it must be a three wave move. So three, three, wave A must be a three wave move, wave B must be a three wave move, wave C must be a three wave move, three wave move, three wave move. So yeah, that's about it for Tesla. Um, looking for a potential bottom, or if not, then we could see another like lower on video, um, so far so good. Um, as I said last time around, either triangle, which doesn't mean it's completed, similar to Tesla, or else we could have a flat, so A, B, C. This could be wave one and two, and then upside. So, but overall, I will be looking for their upside. Um, and if this is a triangle, then we know this is a wave four, and up for five, and then another pullback. Um, last but not least, Google, which is pretty interesting. Um, once again, this is my preferred account. Similar, similarly to uh, Microsoft, I have an alternate. At least I should have. Okay, but these need to be moved here. Okay, with a one two, which one is going to be? I don't know. Uh, once again, for the same reason, looking at the indices. This is going to be my preferred count for the time being. One, two, three, four. And looking for their upside within wave five. As yes, we are finding support on top of 150. So as you can see now, 165. Same reason as I said before on the 65. 
we are seeing some sort of resistance. I'll look for a pullback, test the support on 165, and then look for longs eventually. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's account for Google looking for their upside. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Um, hoping I didn't, I mean, I didn't want to take too long. Um, and hoping, hoping I didn't take uh, too little time. Um, and any questions, you should let me know down in the comments. You can join the Discord and ask me in there. It's absolutely free. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, have a great weekend. I mean, have a great week. It's Monday. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.